All right, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to VR Master League. This is Wednesday night, and that's right, our second match in North America of the day and of the week, for that matter. It's been uh, shockingly light on the schedules, which only means the rest of the week is going to be all kinds of busy. But that's okay. Let's go. Can hear the. <laughs> People in the open comms there for Wireless Jacks, for Legends, all excited to play. And you know who else is excited? Well, me, Pelador, joined by Skinny. Skinny's excited. I could hear it in his voice just moments ago. Absolutely. Um, just ready for, excited for this game. Big, um, big fan of all of these players. Seeing them grow with the preseason and season one of VRML, just absolutely amazing. Just excited. Um, with the Wireless Jacks on a hot streak right now, and and the legends trying to prove themselves so let's see i think we're in for an exciting match tonight <laughs> without a doubt uh, big implications in this match as well just because of the, the again same as last week we saw it with wireless jacks's matches we can see it again this week yet again i mean legends they're right there at the edge uh, number 11 with the gold wireless jacks position number 12 in north america so they are wireless jacks have been making this late season run uh, they're chasing this gold rank and Legends, they're trying to maintain said gold rank. So there's a lot of intrigue going on here. Uh, I'm excited to see how this one pans out as the first launch starts off right now. Here we go. Uh, so Gilligan. Yeah, oh. So Skinny. <laughs> Hi. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Your turn. So, oh, let's see. All right, so the Wireless Jacks actually starting with that soft bounce pass, trying to actually try to boost towards it, but intercepted by the Legends. And now Legends are trying to push up. Definitely taking the time by doing some great passbacks. Absolutely. We got... Uh, Wireless Jacks, you, you'll you'll notice the defense has been really strong for them, so I'm anxious to see how they pull this one off. Uh, versus Legends, who offensively have been super strong, just in terms of that passing game. Uh, right there, finding the shot right on the feet, trying to hand the goalie defeat, at least for the first goal. Yeah, classic high-level play where we see th these four players just trying to bait out the defense, just trying to find an angle, going for those ed edge shots, just really working out for them right now. And quick hello to everyone in the chat as well. Don't think I forgot about you, although if you ask any questions in there, it might be a little bit lost, as that disc does get lost, and shot, and in. That was a great one from single shot to put them up five points. Yeah, great read. Yeah, a lot of teams do tend to do that tube split, and um, Legends definitely punishing that by sending one player each tunnel and single getting the interception, interception a nice three-pointer. Yeah, so played it. We can see that first opening play of the game. You know, Legends playing it slow when they needed to play it slow. Playing it fast in that last one when they needed to play it fast. Uh, at the moment, Wireless Jax may be looking to. Uh, there's the, he tried the, trying the handoff, rather, to Akami as Skyla actually will get the disc back. Uh, those punches buying them some time. So Legends, therefore, they get the clear here. They might be back on offense again. Yeah, but Wireless Jax, Gilligan actually, was a great leech. And now, actually, Blitz and Gilligan trying to get possession gets to slap that disc. And... Um, the Akami able to recover it now, uh -oh. uncontested right now, but a great, actually, as I say, that caption with a great punch allows his goalie, Skyla, to recover it now, trying to move it up that field. Great defense by the Wireless Jacks, just delaying that move up. Yeah, uh, moving up here, slowly throughout the tunnel now, Gilligan trying to contest uh, Captain Canada up, up in there. So, right into the pocket, Skyla gets the disc, and just again, well, like I said, when they need to play it fast, play it fast, play it slow, play it slow. They got the five-point lead, so what are they going to want to do? They're going to want to look for the highest quality goals. And with some authority behind that as a Captain Canada. Oh, Canada. That was a great shot. Yeah, Wireless Jacks letting them a little bit, the Legends, get a little bit too close to their um, um, two-point two, two line there. Um, actually, they had a stack there ready to aggress the and intercept the pass, but Skyla there with the initial pass able to intercept punch out the stack and getting the two pointers. Some good defense coming out here. Oh, maybe briefly losing the hand. So going to single shot again, uh, definitely the opposite of what they wanted. So uh, you can hear the pub comms there as well coming through, open comms, uh, acknowledging the issue, but see if they pay for it. Oh, in fact, they will. A very unfortunate loss on the hands, but caption will capitalize no less for two. Yeah, just great clean play we're seeing from Legends tonight. Definitely deserving of that. Go Gold rank, um, wireless jacks just as well. So let's see if they can pull back this second, not even second half. They had with six minutes and 35 seconds to go. Wireless jacks have plenty of time to come back. Absolutely. And uh, 
answer Swift's question in there. No, but you know who is a new caster? You see, I told you, there's segues and everything, Swift. Uh, as Alchemy goes for the shot, also very swiftly. <laughs> you see how I threw that in there as well. Uh, but good shot there from them. Wireless Jack's here, the first two points. But Swift, one of our new casters on the crew. Uh, for that matter, Captain Canada on Legends, one of our new casters on the crew. So we've got a lot of new faces here. But uh, Wireless Jacks on that last play, finding the place. Still six minutes to go. So as you mentioned, Skinny, we've got some time. Yeah, definitely good um, turn of pace here. Wireless Jacks scoring the first po two pointers of the game. Definitely not too late for them to come back. And now Captain Canada again baiting out that um, back chain, but not able to punch it out. And now it's a total race, total punch outs. A lot of punching going back in the back line and allows wireless jacks to recover it. And now, again, comes the move up from the wireless jacks. Good punches all around from Legends, putting a lot of pressure. And just as I say that, creating a lot of mayhem. A lot of uncertainty of who has to do this. Now Blitz, in possession of this, goes for the pass, but it actually makes it loose again. And Blitz coming away with it. Blitz are very much worth mentioning because as of late, uh, there's so many players from wireless jacks, honestly, who... They've just been so instrumental in this run, and they're really making big names for themselves. I mean, Blitz has had some uh, huge plays for Wireless Jacks in this late season run and some of these wins and these close matches where he's just kind of popping off. At the moment, though, it's the Legends. They're popping off with a shot. Oh, the save from Skyla, though, right through. Or the shot from Skyla, but the save, I should say, uh, probably by Will I Am or Blitz. They both got back. This is what I mean. Uh, Will I Am is another one of those players uh, who's been making a big case for himself as being a top... Uh, a defender, a top goalie, we, we talk so much about some of the the uh, names we're used to seeing as that shot misses at the top list, you know, whether it's uh, guys like, you know, like like Dash or or Middleman over in Europe or uh, or Skinny even, you know, or Shepard. I mean, there's so many great goalies historically. Will I Am has super surprised me as a face here in Season 1 with some unbelievable defense. Yeah, wireless Jacks again mounting that great defense, able to actually intercept that and get that clear. And now again, let's see if the wireless jack is able to punch out that back line. No, it's not. Now Legends definitely back on their zone, but it does not matter. Wireless jack's definitely in position of that disc. Goes for the quick pass. Actually, it goes for the two-pointer, but it's actually is punched out before it's able to make it. And single shot does get the clear on the other side of the floor. Maybe looking at an open goal there. If the defense can get back on Looks like they will. So there's the quickness from Wireless Jacks, and that's what's if anything else keeping them alive. Uh, down by seven points and down by not anymore because Will I Am right on cue gets the save on that two. And now a clear. So the stacks from the Jacks coming back, trying to uh, get the goal here. Wide open. Oh, but getting, losing the handles doesn't matter. Blitz hitting that. Rather tough shot, tougher than it uh, maybe should have been, but a hit no less. Yeah, Legends had two concurrent opportunities where they had a great cop pass into that two-pointer zone. Just high likelihood of chances of scoring that two-pointer, but Wireless Jack's able to get some great saves and score another two points. That is huge for them, because still three minutes, 15 seconds left. They're only down by five. If this turnover goes through, you, I mean, this gap is... Vastly, vastly closing in on Legends. So the Akami, there it is. Three-point game after looking to be maybe, uh, you know, just conceding this first round for Jax. They are fighting back. Yeah, absolutely. Just what a great pace change it has been for the wireless Jax. What a great comeback. And now with a three-point difference, they're able to score with just one more time to score the, uh, the scoreboard up. <laughs> Tie the scoreboard up. Yeah, they can. I mean, they can bring it within one or they can tie it up. Like you said, it's a good shot at either one, especially with this defense. I mean, again, you know, the speed for the Jacks and some of these passes coming in a little bit too hot or just a little bit too out of the reach of their uh, fellow players. So you know, that back pass will just be another deep reset. Now maybe baiting out that stack, but unfortunately, well, I am uh, getting stunned in the process, not able to get a stun on that stack. And now Legends get the disc right back and two minutes left, a little bit over. Yeah, both, it seems as both teams have defaulted to baiting that back stack, Ooh. trying to get those long th <laughs> free three-pointers and two-pointers, but just great boosting all around, just preventing that and making a lot of close quarter combat. And now we're at the two-minute mark. Uh, here again, trying to tap it out, and that's good recognition, just kind of softly uh, sending it that way, just knowing that for the Legends, they had someone in that general direction, even if they couldn't be as super accurate on the clear or the passes they wanted to. And that's what you need to do. You know the general area of your teammates? Just send it in the relative direction yeah and then yeah definitely as you're able to grab those blocks you're able to switch your direction so quickly that just being in the general direction can make it just a great pass and now 
Wireless Jacks trying to tie it up with 1 minute and 27 seconds to go. They have to score quickly. Oh. And they do, making it a one point game with 1 minute and 20 seconds. What a big return this has been. Uh, again, you mentioned that at the six minute mark or so, six or seven minutes, I mean, it was. Uh, Jax got down fast to that Legends opening, uh, those opening few minutes for them. It was just back to back for the Legends, and they, they got up. I think it was 9 to 0, wasn't it? Or at least something in that area. Absolutely, yeah. Legends have and been dry, have not scored in around five, five minutes, six minutes, actually. That is an incredible yeah, turnaround, especially because Wireless Jax have the disc back right now, and less than a minute have a chance to come back. Yeah, if Wireless Jacks are able to score here in the last remaining seconds, that might seal the deal Ooh. for this game. As Gilligan oh, goes for the shot, but is punched out. And now Caption trying to save his team for the Legends. 38 seconds to go. Another great clear. Just trying to waste time here. Um, wireless Jacks have to pick up the pace, and they have so far. So let's see this possible last drive for their Wireless Jacks. Go for the deep pass. Actually, he's able to evade almost oh, all Legends players. Oh no, another punch though from Caption this time. So Legends off the uh, the back or backhand of Caption, I suppose. Maybe looking to close it off, especially with that bounce shot. Returning it, saving it. There's Will, but losing it. Now over to the Akami. Akami slings it, but no time remaining. Just about it's out, and Caption just slapping it through. And by the skin of their teeth, they were stuck on nine points for many minutes now, for basically the entire second half of this uh, first round. But Legends will win it, and uh, Wireless Jacks tough first loss. But <laughs> hold on, <laughs> where Gilligan? What, what's gotten into you? <laughs> well, in any case, uh, now he's just mentioning uh, thanks for warming us up. But you know what? You gotta love that swagger. Gotta love that confidence. And hopefully for the Wireless Jacks. And hopefully for all of us watching, you know, we're going to get an entertaining second round, force it to a third, get those tight matches that uh, we expect to see at this level. Yeah, definitely. Even though they lost, the Legends still had a around 6 minutes and 30 seconds of no points whatsoever. So if they keep on this track, Wireless Jacks might just be able to do the same that Legends did to them on the first round. Yeah, they, uh, for, they have a good chance at it. For the Legends, I think... I don't know, a combination of the wireless jacks, like Gilligan implied, getting warmed up a bit. Uh, then also Legends getting a little bit, like, I guess uh, distraught by some of the defense they're playing. Because as that speed increase for wireless jacks, they're giving Legends less less time to think and maybe get the comms out with as much clarity as they're, they're used to. Because we saw when Legends got ahead, uh, they definitely were prioritizing playing it more slow and careful. But then as the wireless jacks sped up and started getting more aggressive, suddenly, uh, you know, the, the same pacing that they they were kind of in control of in that first first half of round one it was gone absolutely. yeah absolutely and now again wireless jacks able to control that disc at the beginning actually so it makes a little bit loose but a great slap um actually allows them to retain possession of the disc trying to reset it single shot almost getting that interception and now again wireless jacks trying to slow it down and no rush to make these first two points of the game and now Will I am trying to put it up, but Skylar trying to punch him out. Goes for the good oh. cut pass, but again, intercepted just as Wireless Jax um, had some great defense. Legends with some great defense as well. Yeah, taking that, I, I do believe it was Captain Canada. Hope I'm correct on that one, but uh, it was Captain Canada. And anytime at this level, especially, I mean, you know, the, the shot taken out maybe a little too far out. That's going to be, uh, relatively speaking, for him, easy grab. For me, absolutely not. <laughs> but for Captain Canada or any of these skilled goalies, that's going to be a, an easy grab if it's just from uh, around six meters out like that one was. Yeah, now single shot getting a little bit too pressure, but with a great back pass, Skyler able to recover. And now again going for that classic slow legends play, trying to find or bait out a teammate or a wireless jacks player too, a little bit too far. Caption trying to look for his cut passes, gets one. And now single shot goes for the two-pointer, but instead goes for another cut pass. To Skyla getting two points. Very nice, very effective. I mean, they executed that exactly uh, the way they wanted to. And I uh, got them the first two. Took a minute, but that's okay. Uh, for the Jacks, just do the same right back at him. You know, play that passing game. Wireless Jacks' is passing has been nothing short of uh, incredible over the recent weeks, and that chemistry. You know, it's, it's mainly just been an issue. If they have issues, it was just a. Uh, a few bouts of you know the consistency where maybe for a couple minutes at a time they get a little bit scrambled and lose that and it happens to every team but if wireless jackson come in here you know playing at that maximum ca capacity with passes just like that one uh, they are going to make this a very competitive and interesting game going into uh 
you know, the last eight, nine minutes of this one. Yeah, Vince with a key interception actually on that Legends player, just absolutely stealing that, preventing the clear, and now le not giving Legends enough time to reset Alchemy below the goal, scores another two points inside the game. And I see uh, this fast rollout, there's the wireless aggression that we were so used to seeing. But I see Venom in there, appreciating that last play. Uh, misses Will as well as Caption goes in, and look at the multitude of shot fakes. Do it almost. I don't know how it makes him feel, but Caption looking like Grumpiest Broom on this one. <laughs> yeah, same, uh, exact, same exact play the Wireless Jacks pulled where they they send one player really deep and just, just ready to receive it. Caption there to score another two points for the Legends. Yeah. I just know, for a lot of people, I, I like, you know, when you see someone go for the, the, the Angel move where they shield themselves, that shot just uh, will go astray. I equate it with guys like Ender. As that shot goes in for Caption, yeah, he's going to end it. At least on this particular play. Only 11 seconds in. That was a quick one. But. Yeah. Legends definitely picking up the pace. We, we've been seeing them play quite slow, but right now they're picking up the pace and um, got themselves a four point lead. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so the, like the shield plays, I, I equate with Ender usually. Anytime I see any player on offense throwing a million shot fakes, I instantly think of Grumpy as he is uncanny at that, and yet. Uh, it's for a reason. I mean, it buys so much success. I always talk about it because we, we do have fantastic goalies in this match on, on both sides of the floor. You know, offense is not going to be uh, all too easy if you just shoot it from too far out. You, know, you have to throw in the moves just like that from Skyla. And that's what you have to do if you want to take the advantage of goalies. Yeah, definitely all three. <laughs> both teams actually missing the, that, that bounce pass. Skyla on the shield just ready to catch that bounce back and scoring another two points. Yeah, but off that, uh, off that, you talk about something else we equate with other players, the whole uh, inversion, the whirly twirls as we call them. Well, who else but the uh, the old boys over there on Infinite, yeah? Got uh, Zach especially, but Andy as well. So all these moves, the kind of players that made their signature over time. But you know what is a signature? Those passing plays from Wireless. That was a great series between uh, all these players, but eventually it was Akami with the assist to Gilligan. Got quick passes all around. Overwhelming the goalie Skyla um, and, and making a four point game. Definitely, we saw them wireless jacks make a great comeback. Unfortunately, not getting round one. Now they need to win this round to bring it to a third round. And definitely, they're definitely in the position to do so. Yeah, uh, they, they came back in that first round. You mentioned uh, uh, nine, nine points in the hole, it looked like. And they suddenly came back and made it a one point game. Right now, at the same juncture of round two, still five minutes remaining. I mean, they're only down by four. So uh, that's going to be. If round one's in any, any indication, easy peasy. But that, they have to defend here first, and that's not so easy against Caption, especially who's uh, starting to put in some goals here. As yeah, what? Definitely, since they played with Caption, I, I can, I just know he's a great shot. So de definitely, really tricky to stop his shots. Um, yeah, good, good job to support ca Caption to get those um, deep passes in and extend their lead to a six point lead. He's up to 10 points now across these two rounds for Caption, so absolutely having himself uh, just a full buffet of shots available, and he's been taking advantage at every opportunity. But still, with the six points being down, uh, Wireless Jacks are still in it, but single shot in the Legends defense trying to bother that, and they do so successfully here. A yeah, single with a great clear, and now allows Legends to possibly get that three-pointer, but um, Wireless Jacks quick on that regrab back to their goal goalie zone, and now... Akami forced to actually push a little bit too far is now intercepted by Skylag and again single shot again on that <laughs> middle line is forced to clear it again. Yeah, and luckily the speed getting back for Wireless Jacks on this side of the floor, but on the other side of the floor, it's Legends uh, quite often in these last few minutes are starting to beat Wireless Jacks to the punch. Now that said, Will I Am does get the disc thanks to the overshoot, so they're going to throw the pass over. A crash happens at this point, so it's going to be a disadvantage to Legends. And uh, Wireless Jacks, you'll take anything you can get with 338 remaining, so they're going to play up on this goal. They're going to go for one extra pass, but one save, but the put back shot from Will I Am, despite Canada. Oh, he's, he's, he's all up in arms, literally. Yeah, great save by... Was it Canada? Cap Canada? Oh yeah, because he was throwing a fit. <laughs> physically, <laughs> physically, he was he was physically swinging for the fences after that happened. So yeah, uh, great, great save by Canada, especially. And I I know how he feels in those situations. You just 
sometimes don't have any time to slap it. You want to throw it in a certain direction, but just can't sometimes, and you get yeah, rightly yeah. punished for it. Yeah, uh, and it'll happen from time to time. And, oh yeah, I'm noticing, as you might hear in the player comms, we have a... It was Caption who left. It looks like one of the Wireless Jacks players opted for uh, reset as well. Um, but, yeah, uh, maybe... I think we're good. Oh, I think that's 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 three in a row for Caption. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him junk about that later. He's been having some difficulties lately with his, with his hands. It seems like for some reason. So hopefully it won't be too much time off the clock though. Uh, I mean it's been a great match and, and Caption again. If nothing else, it's worse for him because now he just lost uh, the ten ten or twelve points that he'd put up. Lost to history. <laughs> Mario Warlicks, Wireless Jacks player getting a little bit too. Funny, they're reversing the scores for his team. <laughs> Hopefully, as we come back, we can get those corrected. Oh, just as intended, yeah. Also got the timer back up there. I was probably a minute late or so, but either or, it's just a general rule of thumb, a, a guideline for the stream, uh, obviously. We're not enforcers. I, I'm not the one who, who can enforce it. It's, te but... it's technically a rule, guys, so if, if you're listening... Mm -hmm. Stick to you the five minute five minute um, tech timeouts, but yeah, definitely we use that as a yeah. as a measurement. Uh, being asked for the time, I'll find the time. But yes, not quite sure. Timeout button. I think I'm going <laughs> crazy. Oh, soon enough. Soon enough. Yeah, I so think it'll come one of these days. If I ask about it enough minute. and bother, I'll ask for it as my Christmas gift. Nothing else. That sounds like a great Christmas gift. Yeah. You don't exist. There's nothing to question. Anyone know the time? But yeah, definitely. Um, it's tempting I'll... to find the time out for these players just by the by. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, just thinking about how much how much easier it is to cast these games, just getting into games with all the API support and just general community support for this game to allow us to cast these games or yeah, is making our lives a lot easier. Yeah, so. Alright. Yes, easy life. But speaking of making lives easier, I got them the time because I'm a good door and I did my sort of job. And I got the time. 3.33. So very aesthetic, if nothing else. I don't know what that means. But we're two-thirds through the game here. The second round, Wireless Jack's attempting to mount another late game comeback the same way they did in the first round. Coming down from, again, a about nine points in the hole, and yet they made a big late game run to almost get a big upset uh, when Legends felt like, you know, they had that one in the bag for a lot of that round. Yeah, definitely. I think we're in the same situation right now with three minutes, uh, more or less. Yeah. We're kind of in the same boat. Can Legends keep up? Should In, in reality, should Legends keep up the aggressiveness that they, they are known to be able to pull out? and extend that lead or just play that defensive try to waste that timer yeah. which can also be a risky move yeah. it's it's because it's only a four point lead yeah wall. it's more so like you know it's stalling with a purpose no. right if you have if you have yeah, the lead is, you're just right you're aiming not to just uh hold on to this get mid for a, no reason but while you're <laughs> basically while your, your qb is on one side stalling uh the rest of your teammates are still moving with a purpose they're still they're looking for you know, their wins on brawls, they're looking for ex exposed lanes that they can cut from. Mm -hmm. And the bonus is if you can get your QB to drag out one uh, one defender to push them, you're just making the number situation all the better uh, over in the front line. But but yeah, it's it's not just a matter of all four teammates are stalling and they're, none of them are moving. It's it's you're waiting for the the movement and that window to open where you see, okay, this this has a potential to be a good high percentage play, so now we're going to push. Now the defense is a little bit out of position to where they uh, they were a moment ago, and we can maybe get an advantage here. And that's kind of the thing. But, but yeah, Legends are doing a good job of it in that first half of round one, where they played it slow when they needed to, they played it fast when they needed to, and we're hoping to see that uh, again here as we finish out this second round. After, after <laughs> what happened? Accidentally, they didn't put the, the disc, they put the disc in the middle. Ow! <laughs> I should have known. Okay, well, it happens, it's all right. <laughs> we should have seen it coming. You, you'd you figure after it's happened uh, enough times, I would remember to, you know, ping ping the teams about it as well, but I don't. <laughs> did, you, did you ping the teams with the time? I did ping the teams with the time, yeah, and I made sure oh, to do it in the right it. channel. 
Oh, it's that's been another <laughs> issue where I'm pinging teams and channels they can't see and then wondering why they're not starting. Uh, we don't talk about that, though. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely haven't done it. Nope. Uh, anyway, I see Lemming in there. Lemming VR rating with a party of five. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Lemming. Akami, he's going to say thank you for that disc, and he's not going to miss. It's a one-point game again. Caption. This is a... Uh, or caption. Skinny. <laughs> this is very unfamiliar or no very familiar territory i think a uh, little bit of deja vu perhaps but we still got a lot of time to spare compared to round one and definitely a little bit of deja vu but not exactly yeah <laughs> little little uh, wireless jacks now have the one point difference but have Ooh, a what? lot of time another great interception that was very curious jacks. though uh, that was almost a really relaxed rollout a gentlest of taps and doing that against the speed of the wireless jacks and their stacks that is an extremely extremely Bold move, I'll I'll say, if nothing else. Uh, yeah, no, great pressure all around, just making the disc very loose, forcing a lot of clears for both teams. And now the Alchemy trying to score it for his team. It's actually with Captain Canada trying to get in goal, but actually outnumbered right now, but um, his legend teammates able to get in position. But oh. A lot of great pressure and a lot of great interception. Oh, that's great. Wireless Jacks able to get the position again and finally get the lead for the first time. That was, oh, just great collection on that one. Part of it, you know, sure, a little bit, little bit of luck on the, you know, fortunate on the rolls and some of that miss, but, like, it went to the right places. Wireless Jacks, importantly, they had the wherewithal to take advantage of it, and they, they scored. They're up by one, and let's see what the rollout here happens. But, again, so that's the second time in a row now. Legend's getting a little too loose and casual with some of these rollouts. Uh, they are, it doesn't seem like the disc is really going into a particular intentional place. They're just kind of... Sending it a direction and hoping it works, but it's also really slow and it's giving a uh, wireless jacks a chance to be aggressive and get the disc back Yeah, not just you can so it's not exactly bad to um, send it sometimes But you need to have that stack ready to chase that disc Otherwise, you're just giving free possession to the other team Well, and you're talking about a team in wireless jacks who have made a living I mean every game just about without fail They are getting these turnovers on defensive jousts purely because of the speed uh, so definitely, if you're going to try and play the speed game on your offensive rollouts against a wireless jacks defense, you definitely better have something planned or their speed will overwhelm you very, very likely. A single shot goes for that three-pointer, almost is able to get that. Um, yeah, very close game. Now, if Legends is finally able to score here, finally put some pressure, putting a lot of pressure on now Skyla goes nice. for the two-pointer, going for his classic whirly twirlies, able to make it a one-point game again for the Legends. And very nimble maneuvering, the Twinkle Toes Skyla rolling on through. But that was a, there was nothing graceful. It was just, it was just a quick up and under shot fake and a, a you know, nice power slam to finish it off. And as a result, we got ourselves a Legends lead again. But there's a Wireless Jacks with that rollout of theirs. Now they do get the disc off to the intended target. They have a Blitz cutting. That's a beautiful series of passing plays again rolling out here. They got 30 seconds and less now. Uh, to make a score and try and go up by more. It's Akami taking the lead, but still time on the clock for Legends. Big shot nonetheless. And yeah, they're going to have around 13 seconds. Oh, actually, <laughs> don't mind me. Eight seconds from when, <laughs> when the disc is, or for when the joust is about to begin. So let's see if they can headbutt it quick enough, because I don't think there's another way for them to get it. The, the disc that were quick down and headbutt it, they will, but unfortunately not going quick enough. And now with four seconds to go, Oh, no! Oh, no. oh gosh! <laughs> I almost had a heart attack! But it's a third round! My goodness, that was a very almost huge miscommunication from Wireless Jacks because they left that goal way exposed, which is the last thing that you want. Just sit in the goal, but my goodness, it it's fine. 13 to 12, I'm cool, calm, and collected, Skinny. Don't mind me. Uh, but the stats, I suppose, partial. Go ahead and read them. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely close. Well, I don't know who, who who made that flick shot. He wasn't even looking at the goal, so the fact that he got so close was pretty impressive. <laughs> That's the problem. You, it doesn't even matter these days. The offenses are so so good in modern Echo mm -hmm. Arena, especially at these levels. You people don't need the line of sight. All they need is the open angle, whether it's with a bounce or just again those behind the back flings. We we've seen it before. In fact. Uh, we've seen it happen against the Legends before in an Orbit match. There was a last-second slap shot fling from Orbit. Uh, I believe Sneaky Evil it was, if I'm correct, but they won it. 
uh, based on that when Legends felt they had that game in the bag just a few weeks ago. So that's, that's the thing. You cannot concede a single open slot in those crunch time situations. You know, you got to stick to your guns and you know, play until the buzzer or else you can get punished hard. And Wireless Jacks almost did. Yeah, absolutely. And now, as we head into the last round, both teams taking it by a single point. So very close series we've seen so far. So hopefully, Legends definitely not um, not punishing Wireless Jacks' mistakes, and Wireless Jacks need to um, improve on that consistency if both either team wants to win this series. And now Wireless Jacks with another great initial joust, neutral joust. Able to actually get possession of that disc, but um, that, that back chain not able to get possession and now makes it another loose disc. But Wireless Jax is able to retain possession, uh -oh. trying to slow it down. A little bit of a laggy pass, but nonetheless a pass. And now, and that <laughs> bubble going for that quick passes, but not not able to connect on those. Yeah, that, this just doing a little bit of dubstep, no big deal, it's okay. Uh, it's Wednesday night, why not? Uh, but over here, we Blitz taking that disc in that pocket. They have the back pass reset available, so they wisely go to Will I Am. You see Gilligan down below just trying to brawl. And uh, at the moment, the defense a bit off balance, but Legend's doing a good job to recognize that quickly to get back inside the bubble. A little bit off balance, though, and Gilligan's actually left open to basically walk it in. And there you go. Uh, Wireless Jack's the first two. Yeah, two. Two stacking that goal um, is correctly punished by Wireless Jack's just uh, making that deep... Um, the pass onto that back, um, person behind the goal and scoring it. Yeah, I mean, credit to Legends because once that first pass went out to the uh, the left side over here where this, this is about to be collected, Legends did a good job getting back, but then uh, just kind of left uncovered still as a multitude of fakes will not get the goal and single shot taking it right back. Wireless Jax with an awesome start to that, to this um, round, actually forcing Caption to do a bad pass Almost getting a two-pointer, and now again Skyla going for that three-pointer, but it's actually missing it off the backboard. Not able to get that bounce pass, and now Blitz trying to clear for the wireless jacks. And uh, now all teams involved, kind of looking, actually focusing the brawls if nothing else. Uh, no one even looking for a stack for those first several seconds. It was more so just let me go punch this guy for both teams. And that said, well there you go, bow tie indeed. Oh no, the bait! Oh my goodness! Oh, and, and the thank you from Gilligan. Oh, Gilligan. I don't know if stream caught that, I'm sure. <laughs> Gilligan called out an open comms bow tie, and he got the pass from the opposite team. Oh, dear. And unfortunate for the legends. I, I don't know. I don't know if you call that smart. Uh, I don't know. Anyways. I. <laughs> I, that's one of those moves that I absolutely, just from real life perspective, I hate it in basketball. Pick up games when people do that, it's like, oh my goodness, why? Why? Why are you the way you are? But Gilligan just did it, and you know what? It got them the results, so can you deny it? I think not. That is, whatever you want to call it, a heady move from Gilligan, and it bought them the three-point shot. Let's see if Legends can stay intact, mentally speaking here, and uh, just keep playing their game, not let that bother them, as they do try to collect the disc up high. And they do, so uh, Captain Canada going to come away with it with a, a sharp pass down below, but a turnover again. Yeah, holding a little bit too long to that disc initially, and now Arliss Jacks, after all that whole um, debacle, able to uh -oh. recover the disc, but going a little bit too fast. Possibly scoring another two points, making a seven-point game, but missing. And now Skyla, with a good clear pass, unfortunately intercepted by the Akami. And now with his teammates moving up, has another great chance to make another two-pointers. Now another great pass back to Akami, with the goalie punched out, is able to score another two points. Oh boy, and off of, again, the part of this might be able uh, to be credited towards that move for that open three uh, from Gil. Uh, I mean, that is absolutely one of those things that can have uh, an effect that uh, that reaches much further than just say the two point, you know, the two or three point goal. Uh, just in terms of the mentality and the rhythm. You can see it here, Legends, we, we saw it on the other side as well. Their they're passing at the moment is in a bit of a disarray. A lot of time for them to come back at it, but their rhythm is entirely thrown off now from where it was earlier. Yeah, but six, min six, minutes, yeah. six minutes to go, um, seven point lead for, the, for, for Wireless Jacks. Definitely able to come back. As uh, so we've seen both sets actually yeah. for the wireless check comeback, the legends are definitely able to make that comeback too.
Yeah, this is what uh, they did as Skyla gets a very timely save, not letting this this lead uh, balloon to anything larger for the Wireless Jacks. And getting back on the other end, maybe looking for the first score, but there's Gilligan already uh, at that front door uh, waiting to answer the call. And here's again a disc taken by Skyla. He'll go up high. Uh, he knows he has two teammates over there near the bubble, so maybe a numbers opportunity. Two on two, down from below, fakes! And does it make, and that's a very unhappy player somewhere in that mix, but Skyla taking it away and back to back on a bunch of re-grabs before the clear. Oh, I should get past the last second. Possibly look like in his end to uh, maybe score it, but now Alchemy with a great response for another three-pointer. <laughs> yeah, not the turnarounds they wanted, and unfortunately, as a result here, just trying to verify some of the pings a little bit, but looks okay, but not that that's... Oh, there we go. I don't know. We'll see. I think, again, internet in general these days, so... Either or, though, the team's uh, playing on here, and uh, Legends finding themselves in the same position as that shot. Oh, no, starting to pile on the heat. It's 13 to 0. Mental game is getting to the Legends right now. Just wireless jacks absolutely abusing that. Scoring six points in the last around what, 40 seconds, and now a great and healthy lead for the wireless jacks with four minutes to go. Yeah, I was gonna say before that shot had occurred, uh, legends were basically finding themselves now in the same spot that wireless jacks did in both of uh, the first two rounds, where they were down by nearly double digits, but then came back in the end. At the moment, two duck throughs, and Skyla getting loose off of that. Uh, the double duck and the two. <laughs> Miss Kala, especially when you're not grabbing something, it's easy and, and I mean, it's debatable, it's, it's controversial, but um, going for those crouch or jumping plays, um, really useful, especially since players cannot grab something else and hopefully not respond to that crouch. Yeah, uh, well, I dare say there's been a, a few controversial things in this game so far, so you know what? All is fair in love and war in Echo Arena for tonight, I suppose, as they uh, just missed that shot. Answering Isaiah who I want to say is Mort, yes. Uh, joining in, asking the scores. It was nine to eight, round one, 13 to 12, round two. So <laughs> super tight, as you can see on the scoring differential, only two points separating in those two rounds. Ooh, but talking about two points, Caption separated himself just enough to receive that disc and eventually uh, roll it into the, the goal there. Exposed, and that's a fourth point. Shot by Caption, actually almost almost behind the back. Great pass by Captain Canada and Caption just reading the disc and able to slap that for um, to make it a nine point game. Definitely not over for the legend just yet. Oh, definitely not. Uh, we know, as you say, the, this team on Legends they are capable capable of aggressive plays, but the double edged sword of that aggression at this juncture is that Wireless Jacks are going to find themselves with uh, more breakaway goals if a single person gets loose. Like that. Response by the wireless jack just instead of going that split tube, which um, which is standard a lot in, in pubs and both um, lower level gameplay, switching that up and making those deep risky plays pay, right now paying off greatly for the wireless jacks to take a humongous lead as the for the ending moments of this third set of the round. And another uh, turd over here was going to be sent deep into the other side. I just definitely got. All off kilter, it seems like the, the speed of wireless jacks has really been a big story because it's uh, enabling them to play this really tough defense, fast defense, and get to the other end on these clears as well. Able to respond, making a make it a 10 point game, unfortunately. Just yeah. That timer is expiring and not, not a lot of time to respond. Yeah, 10 points and minute and 32, not a lot of time. Now, uh, Caption, I think, apologizing for the curse, and it's all right, buddy. We, we don't mind. I mean, unless it's excessive, but, you know, <laughs> it's all good. It's an intense game. You know, caption as well. I know maybe some controller issues uh, over the last few games now that we've seen, so not taking that away at all. But just the same, you know, Wireless Jacks, they're playing on. They're trying to make that three-point shot, and they do. It's up to 19. And uh, at this point, I mean, one minute left. It's looking like Wireless Jacks have won themselves a game and maybe secure that, uh, will secure that gold seed. Yeah, absolutely no. I think at this point we can confidently say that Wireless Jacks have confidently taken this round. What a great round! Yeah, from the Wireless Jacks, just Legends definitely in a difficult um, mental game. Maybe not exactly finding the Wireless Jacks, but themselves in that mental game. 
you could see the deterioration in their quality of their passes, but and wireless shacks correctly abusing it. Yeah, uh, exactly. Just doing what they need to do to continue to snowball. There, again, with the speed, you can see there's just no time really for that QB to, to do anything else other than just get rid of it with some uh, speed on the, under there. But unfortunately, not fast enough to beat out the wireless jacks who are uh, coming back with those stacks over and over. And uh, first to the disc on a lot of these attempts. What a great series it has been. Just Legends, unfortunately, losing a little bit of consistency just at the end as, as we saw them win by a point. <laughs> in the first round, lose by a point in the first round, so Woo! definitely they've maintained their focus for the majority of this series. Yeah, yeah, uh, really start putting it together. I mean, we see. Alright, well, hold on, let me make sure I got the 19 to 6, but... Like... Alright, well, I'll let them discuss the servers among themselves. Nonetheless, 19 to 6 here. Got the scores all good. And uh, yeah, Wireless Jacks winning that one in uh, what was just a progressive win. I mean, again, we started off the first five minutes of round one where Jacks had gotten uh, in that nine point deficit. And they made a comeback in that second half. And then the same thing in the round two where it was just a. Kind of a, a come from behind kind of thing where you 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 squeeze out barely that one point win, and then the third round happened and it was just uh all bets were off and wireless jacks they had found their rhythm they were building upon it for two rounds in a row, and by the time the third came around it, it just seemed like there was no stopping them. Meanwhile, you know for legends just getting a little bit uh, in kind of chaos mode for a bit there, uh, you know some restarts and tech issues potentially in the way there uh, controller side. Uh, for uh, caption as well, which has been again, uh, unfortunately, recent thing that's happened. Uh, you know, both in wins and losses. So, not taking away from that whatsoever. I know that's always frustrating for sure. But wireless jacks definitely, uh, they they were on point. I mean, they were playing with uh, speed and precision, which is a dangerous combination for a team like them. Absolutely, just picking it up from that second half of the first round and just continuing that momentum all the way through the third round to take this series. And, uh, and yeah, to answer the uh, Twitch chat there to address you guys, it's a, a Shad TV asking, saying, wait, Jacks are making the gold seed? Uh, potentially, yeah. It's, uh, we'll, we'll see how things pan out. And there's still more matches to be played over the course of the week. But here, I'll pull up the rankings for you real quick. And you can see Legends, uh, 11th place there in the gold division. Uh, but right beneath them is Wireless Jacks. And they've been making runs. Uh, this is why, for sure, over the weeks, I, I say sometimes when it comes to, you know, connoisseur votes and things like that, uh, not that people are, are wrong, but necessarily, you know, everyone can't watch every game all the time. So inevitably, the connoisseur vote tends to lag behind uh, by a week or two, generally speaking. And, you know, in this particular match, Legends were favored 15-2 to connoisseur-wise, but if you look back one to two weeks at how Wireless Jacks have been playing, uh, they're a bit of a different team. They've really started turning it up into another gear as of late. Uh, hence why I was not you know, surprised to see it go to three rounds uh, and then actually result in the win. You know, So a little bit of an upset in a sense, but not surprising just based off the, the prior history, the recent history that's been established by this team. A not surprising upset. That was surprising, but not <laughs> yeah. surprising. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Not exactly. It's surprising to the connoisseur. To, to, to anyone who hasn't watched Wireless Jacks in all of their games last two weeks, it was surprising. To anyone who has watched the Wireless Jacks' games the last Absolutely. two weeks, n not surprising per se. So that's what I'm. That's all I'm getting at. Uh, connoisseur lags, and when certain teams get on a real hot streak, I mean, it's 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 so fun to watch. Legends, just I mean, the same. They've been uh, throughout the whole season. They've been sticking in that gold division. You know, constantly. So, I mean, they've they've been consistent as anyone. You know, they've had their ups and downs. Rightly so. Yeah. Rightly so. This is a down for them, but definitely both teams are deserving of that um, gold ranking tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they've maintained it the whole season. Whether or not they lose it after this uh, week or not is to be determined, but it wouldn't also be a surprise to see Legends take it right back because that's the level of play that they provide, you know, on a game-to-game -game basis through, any, through wins and losses. They're still very much a gold team. Uh, at minimum, I mean, they're, you know, they got they got the talent for it, and they've shown it plenty enough. 
Yeah, this this is only the second game of the of the week, at least that has been exactly. scheduled so far. Exactly. And the last game of the night to answer your question, Swift. Yeah, yeah. So only three matches tonight. Our first three matches of week eleven at that. Um, so that will be it for oh, the he's meantime. European. Oh, he's is he is he European? Yes. European. He can still hear you if you whisper. Also, oh, it's, it's the form. So it's the first game. Some maybe to play next game to be played really late. I don't know. I don't know. When's the next game? <laughs> uh, th technically, yes. Technically, over over uh, across the pond, it is a new day over there. So I guess if you want to go by that. Uh, but we'll bring up the schedule here just to save Skinny a little bit <laughs> and let him have a look at what's what's up. Uh, and there you go. So tomorrow, apparently, at 7 a.m. my time. That's the earliest I've ever seen a European game. That's why I question it. But 7 a.m. my time. 10 a.m. my time. 9 a.m. Nice. Central. It's watching Weebs versus Team Gecko. Uh, forewarning, if it is actually that early, we'll it's we'll see. That early. <laughs> we'll it is we'll actually. see. We'll see if we can bring that to you on stream or not. Um, <laughs> but yes, we have. Certain we put the preemptive call. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, even then, I'm I'm all nighter for Palador. Why not? Uh, that's about my bedtime. But anyways, a Smash Dash versus Phantoms also coming up later in the day, as well as Vertigo and Team Gravity. Uh, for the North American side, we'll have Deception and Six Foot Over. And actually, I'm going to need to pull up this full schedule here, just given uh, what we're looking at. But hold on. But Deception and Six Foot Over, we have High Voltage, formerly known as Planet Express. Uh, they'll be facing off against Space Force. We have Flare versus Ignite. Wireless Jacks again versus a Creamy Milk, another gold team. So as I said, these we'll see what happens. Milk it's gonna be a with big with ice cubes apparently. Creamy milk with ice cubes. Gl glad you love to. S no, you don't. You 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 see it. <laughs> Anyways, wireless jacks versus creamy mil uh, milk. We have boosty boys versus reboots. We have oh actually actually that's it. And that will be the Thursday as of now. However, there are still nine unscheduled games, so they oh, that no. could very much change over the next. Uh, 12 to 24 hours. We'll see. I, th I think we are in for a very exciting Friday or busy Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And we will do what we can, rest assured. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's definitely not complaining. It's going to be a lot, but uh, at this juncture of the season, obviously there's a lot of a lot of things on the line, a lot of teams like really trying to squeeze out those those last uh, few matches, those wins, maybe get some challenges in there and just boost boost up there in the ranks as much as they can to close this one out because it's a tight race. Is this the last week? How many more weeks do we have for before the official season ends? Uh, one talking more. About, talking the, about season. Yeah, next next week next week is the, the finish. So we have wow. still one wow. and a half weeks to go. Uh, following that, we'll have closed qualifier, or open qualifiers, which is open to any team uh, who's not in the top... Uh, the top four or top six to to join in and, yeah, and compete. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as I see it right now, definitely the top six, definitely cemented in there. And both, I I think every top six team, top five team can beat one another. So, um, so it's gonna be a very exciting and and tough match for for those teams that participate in the open qualifier. I think those yeah. where where are we gonna see the best of the best of the teams then? The most exciting gameplay so far. Yeah, for sure. I mean, definitely the top few slots uh, just about locked down. But I never know, because mem remember, you can uh, these these are rounded numbers to a degree. We don't know actually how much separation. So, uh, particularly like Joker and Kangorillas will be solid. I'm sure Infinite Two, uh, Flare and Illuminati. That is the question, because if some of these, I mean. Orbit did this last uh, last season, preseason as well. You can see Orbit there right now, currently in sixth place. Um, you know, twelve sixty, and you know, sneaking in there this really... to cause some upsets to those top spots. But I do agree, for the most part, they're locked down. But I'm, I'm mainly in these this gold division, especially. I'm, I'm very curious to see who shows up for. Uh, the final week and a half, and who shows up in qualifiers? Because I, I do feel like a lot of these teams, you know, number six through eleven, uh, you know, in that gold division, or I guess twelve as well, you know, including Wireless Jackson there. But there's a lot of these teams are capable of upsetting some of those master teams on a given day if uh, you know one's playing at their best and one's playing maybe mediocre. Uh, there's there's upset potential there. Is all I'm I'm looking at right now. It'll be fun. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I think it is <laughs> time to sign off. Um, I've been your caster, Kinney here, joined by Palador on the cameras and casting alongside me. What if it I don't want to been... sign off? Oh, well, okay, we can sign off. Then. You can... <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, you, I, I'm you sign up. You no, I've, I've been full agreement. I'm, I'm just teasing. No, no. You sign off. Man. No, you sign off. You sign off. Okay, well. This has been Paolo. That's been Skinny. We're gonna go now. See you later. Been fun. Be happy, healthy, safe. Good night. Good night, everyone. <laughs>